Alright, I'm out here today. Um, I've got my sub row bit all in. I'm laying out for the curves. I spread this out a little bit because I was worried that I wouldn't have enough. So I for forgot to line this one or one of the ends up out off center. I put them both on center. So I added a little bit of extra sub road bed material just to give me a, something to work with. So those become the center lines of the track at that point. So now that I've got some sort of guide laid out, I'm going to mark the center line of the parallel track 1.3 inches away. So here I've got my little pieces of masonite. You can see I've cut a bevel on each side and that's the standard roadbed thickness or sorry roadbed width okay and so those will go right here on the end and I usually leave them hang out they're a little bit longer than three inches but that's all right I use them hang, hang them out a little bit and then I'll I'll sand that end flush and for this part I just use regular wood glue um, the Gorilla Glue is a little too sticky. It works well, but uh, one of the things that I want to do is give myself some working time because you want to check these for square and adjust them. Make sure they're on center. And they don't have to be perfect, but close. Um, but I want to adjust them for square this way this is really important so square to the face and level we don't want to hump up or down and if you need to you take a piece of paper or something and shim that um, to get it square these look real good um, and then make sure it's square to the face plate that way and the wood glue gives you just a little bit more time. It's not as sticky. It's not going to get all over your squares. That sort of stuff. Alright, so I needed to figure out how to get my easements from my center point of my turnout to the end of my module. So what I did was I set up one clamp as a stop and two clamps as a guide and then held this... Uh, straight edge get that one lined up and held the straight edge and then just drew my pencil along there and did the same thing over on this one and that's my guide for the center line for my cork there we are with cork I need to find my T-pins, don't I? And you can see that this is needs a, a little bit of shimming, so I need some cardboard to fix that. I'll be right back. Yeah, I wanted to move you in a little tighter, and I don't know if you can see this, but so I've got my square on here. Now this part is the masonite's pretty square on both of these. Okay. But you notice that my uh, cork road bed is not quite as tall. And so I need to shim that and make a transition down. And I'll make it about that long. And to do that, I'm just going to use, uh, well, this is a butter carton. Either a butter carton or a cereal box. Whichever one is the right thickness. Okay, so we're gonna spread a little glue here. here. And put my little cereal box shim in place. Okay, do the 
the same at the other end. I'll do the same for this track too. Now that we've got those on there, we can uh, measure our piece of cork, which is going to go around that curve. So we're going to need a little filler piece down in there. We need to remove some. And we'll just squirt some glue out here. Pin this in place. Get the T pins out. So we got a little bit more done. We're moving on here. All right, the road bed's all glued on, both modules. Still got some left over. Uh, it's my favorite part, waiting for glue to dry. But while I'm waiting, I could go build a couple of turnouts because I'm going to need those. So, we'll see you next time. Bye.